When we're dealing with polynomial functions, a couple things about their graphs that are kind of important are they are both what we refer to as smooth and continuous. Now the smooth part basically means there are no sharp corners or cusps on the graph. All right, so a cusp, by the way, if you weren't sure, is something that kind of has this look to it. All right, so no cusps, no sharp corners like this on the graph. Um, the continuous part means that you can draw the entire graph without picking up your pencil. Um, basically meaning there are no gaps or breaks in the graph. All right. On top of that, well, the other thing we want to think about in this video is the end behavior of our graphs. So if we have a polynomial function, and I know this notation can be a little bit confusing, but it's written in descending order, what we need to do to pick out what the end behavior is going to look like is you need to look at the first term if it's in descending order. So the first term is the highest power on x. And then look at what its end behavior looks like for just this monomial, and you'll get the end behavior for the entire big long polynomial. All right, when we say x approaches infinity, that means x becomes large in a very positive direction. So off to the right hand side, and as x approaches negative infinity, x becomes large in a negative direction. So on these next examples, let's go through and pick out what's the end behavior going to resemble on this. So to do that, what we need to do is we need to pick out what's our leading term. Well, this is written in descending order, meaning the highest power of x followed by the next highest power, et cetera, until we get down to a constant, which is degree zero. So the degree of this polynomial is four. It's going to follow whatever the graph of y equals a leading term, negative two x to the fourth, whatever its graph looks like in the end behavior. So what's that going to look like? Well, the end behavior here, we can say, well, it's an even power function. So typically even power functions have the tails going off the same direction and they normally go up in the positive direction. This one, however, is a little bit different because we have the negative two out in front. What that's gonna do is that's going to be a vertical reflection on the graph of X to the fourth. So what that tells us is the tails are actually gonna flip upside down and head down. Okay, so to describe this end behavior, we can say as x approaches infinity, so that means as we go off to the right hand side, because that's our x values, following the graph here, it looks like we go down, down, down. Well, that means that our y values are going to approach negative infinity. And as we look at the end behavior on the left hand side, as x approaches negative infinity, so what that means is as we go off to the left-hand side in the x direction, following the graph, we go down, 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 down. Our y values are gonna approach negative infinity in that direction as well. Okay, next looks, let's look at three x to the fifth minus five x cubed plus two x. Again, it's written in descending order. So we can really just focus our attention on this very first term. That highest power of x, that leading term, is going to dictate the rest of the end behavior for the rest of the polynomial. So we want to think about what's the graph of y equals 3x to the fifth going to look like, at least at the ends. So quick sketch here. We have x to the fifth. That's an odd power function. We don't have a negative out in front, so it's not going to flip it upside down. Hopefully we recall that odd power functions, the right tail goes up and the left tail goes down, just like our x cubed graph. And then to express what this looks like, we say as x approaches infinity, so that means as we go off to the right-hand side, following the graph along here, our y values go up or to positive infinity. And we can also say as x approaches negative infinity, Simply a math way to say, as we go to the left-hand side, the very large negative x values, and track our graph down, looks like our y values go down. Well, negative infinity are the y values way, way, way down this direction. All right, last thing on this video, let's take a look at a couple graphs and talk about the end behavior. We're going to describe it and talk about how uh, we can hopefully get a little bit more perspective as far as finding the possible degree of the polynomial. So the first one here, let's talk about the end behavior. 
We can say in this case, as x approaches infinity, meaning off to the right-hand side, our y values go up, so we'd say as positive infinity. And as our x values go to the left-hand side, as we go further and further to the left, our y values seem to go down in this one, so we say y approaches negative infinity. All right, now, as far as the degree goes, we're trying to find a possible degree for this polynomial. Now we're gonna get more information about this in, in the future, but for the time being, what we can do is say something about the degree of this polynomial. All right, we can say the degree because our tails one goes up and one goes down, we can go ahead and say this has to be an odd degree for our polynomial, meaning that the leading term is gonna be raised to an odd power. Okay. Um, for the time being, we really can't say a whole lot more um, because we haven't talked about turning points at this point. Um, we could also say our leading coefficient though. The leading coefficient is gonna be positive because our tails didn't get flipped upside down. All right, one more of these, let's describe some end behavior. We can say in this case, as our x values go to infinity, meaning off to the right-hand side as we track our graph out here, our y values are gonna go down, so y goes to negative infinity. And as our x values approach negative infinity, meaning off to the left-hand side, going further and further negative as far as x values go, our y values seem to go down. We say that's negative infinity for y values down there. Now, as far as the degree goes, in this case, I think we can definitely say the degree is going to be even because the tails go the same direction. And we can also say something about our leading coefficient. As far as our leading coefficient goes, normally even power functions go up. Both tails go up. This one's been flipped upside down and both of our tails are going down. So we can say our leading coefficient is gonna be negative. All right, hope this helps out in talking about end behavior and identifying uh, end behavior based on leading terms of polynomials. All right, good luck as you're figuring it out.